of hippopotamus attacks are not fairy tales, they're facts. They're a 4,000 pound freight train with foot and a half long teeth. Dave, there's something up here in the grass. It's a pack. Cody and Dave are taking on the role of two fishermen stranded in the Delta after a hippo attack destroys their boat. We should beat it, huh? We can go through this thing later. If there's yeah, man, where's the closest dry land at? Looks like you. We need to get to dry land, somewhere that we can find some resources, get a high point for navigational purposes, and assess what's in this backpack. That's the biggest, closest tree. What do said there, then? How many crocs and hippos in here to mess around? I'll tell you, in this low spot with all this vegetation, man, it's easy to get turned around. Naturalist Cody Lundeen adopted a primitive survival style in the Arizona desert. The Okavango Delta is one of the biggest wetlands on planet Earth. That's a pretty different cup of coffee from where I'm from, from Arizona. Do you think this is crocodile turf right where we are right now? A 12-foot crocodile can hide in about 10 inches of water sometimes. I don't know what the Okavango Delta is going to hold for Cody Lundeen, but the fact of the matter is, Arizona, baby. Dave Canterbury has an edge on this four million acre floodplain. After serving in the U.S. Army, he spent three years in the Florida Everglades wrangling reptiles. You know, I love the Okavanga Delta because it's a huge, giant swamp, and I'm in a swamp rat. Just watch for grass moving in front of you, bro. Dave has a lot more swamp experience than I do, but he's never been to Botswana, and none of the swamps he's been to have hippopotamus. This is a new swamp for both of us. Just after dawn, hippos head back to the water, seeking protection from the sun's rays. The best time to get across Hippo Island safely is now. Whoa! Look at that guy. I almost tripped over him. Wow. Pretty cool, isn't it? Just like an MRE. That's a meal ready to eat. When I go out into the bush, one of the things I like to bring is a bagel with peanut butter and honey. So I have my glucose, my carbohydrate, and my fat with some trace proteins as well. So I'd have to work on it for my imagination, but I guess this tortoise kind of looks like a big ass bagel. This animal's alive, and live food never spoils. We don't have to eat it now, we can eat it whenever we want to. We keep it alive and eat it at our leisure. Just like an MRE. You know what cool. So we'll just slide him down in here. So he's not upside down, that's the only thing they really don't like. And we'll make sure we keep the backpack out of direct sun, and they'll be fine. This is a lot different here. It looks like this island's a lot bigger than we originally thought. When we're on, it looks like flat out an African savanna. The battery's about shot on this thing, but it looks like it's saying we go straight that way, man. Looks like clear sailing as far as we know. That's gonna put us further down the trail, and that's what we need to do to head back to that camp on that GPS. The next thing we need to talk about is our box lunch over here. Yeah, go ahead and kill the tortoise. I'll go grab some firewood, and you deal with the tortoise. This is a survival situation, so if you get any meat value at all where you can get some protein in your body, take advantage of it. Okay, see you in a bit. All right. All right, time to kill a tortoise. I've checked this area really good for predators, but anytime you draw blood on something or you gut something, you never want to do it around your camp if there's predators even possibly in the area. All right, buddy, last dance. My plan is to let this tortoise start to walk away, which means he's going to stick his neck completely out. When he does that, I'll be able to cut his head off clean. One quick slice, he's dead. This is all nervous reaction, and he's done. And now we're gonna pit bake him. Pit baking is a simple way to slow cook meat a practice used by cultures around the globe for thousands of years. Now what we need to do is put our tortoise in the hole upside down, just like this. I'm gonna bury on top of them like this. Put all this dirt around them, just like this. Real quick like, and then I'm gonna move the fire right over the top of them. 
Tomorrow morning we should have a pretty tasty breakfast on our hands. Where do you want this wood? Let's put some of it in the fire if you want to, man. I got that thing down to a bed of coals now. Is the tortoise in there? Yeah, he's in the pit. Well, I'm hearing calls from over there. I'm hearing calls from over there. Heard I'm just calls. like... I heard the hippos. I wonder if I can find our breakfast, Cody. Where the hell did you put it? I think this is him right here, man. I pit baked this tortoise last night, and I have no idea what I'm going to get into when I dig it up. The shell's breaking pretty clean. Look at that, man. What the hell is that? That's the meat and the guts. I see guts. Where's the meat? Right there. That's the spine. See that spine? That's all back meat. Yeah, I don't mess with tortoises and turtles in my country because they don't think they're worth it, and they really smell. So what the hell is that thing that looks like a half a pink donut? Probably his liver and his stomach. Is that an anus, or is that the... I don't know. That's some sort of orifice. Here's some meat, Cody. Oh, here's the... Here's the thigh. Here's the greens. This is... This is stomach contents. I've never eaten stomach contents of a tortoise before, but I was hoping for something more. Look at that chunk of meat right there, Cody. You sure that's meat? It looks like a penis. I don't know tortoise physiology at all, and I think I saw a duodenum, and I think I saw the penis. Dude, that's meat for sure right there. I mean, that right there might be a piece of penis. I think that's a penis. That might be a penis. That's all right. Tortoise penis. Now I just stole his manhood. I witnessed Davey the tortoise penis, so maybe that can be my new nickname for him. Yeah, now I'm up to a full peanut. Yeah. Protein's protein, man.